Guys, welcome back to another video today. I'm going to be speaking to Thomas about Enzo Lollardice. Um, he's a young, under 20s French international. Uh, he plays in midfield. Um, as we speak, he has just signed on loan for Wolves. Um, apparently, it's going to be a deal to the end of the season, and there is a permanent deal there if needs be. That if, if we feel like it's a good transfer, we will do it. Um, so let's get into the into the interview, should we say? It's agony, ecstasy, we're all one big family, we've got each other's back, we're, we're the wolf pack, we're, we're the wolf pack. Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine and you. I'm fine. I'm good, thanks. Right, let me just sort out my sound. Right. Okay. I can't hear you properly for some strange reason, one second. Let me just take you Right. Hello. Hello. I can hear you now. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, I'm I'm good. I am uh, in a classroom now. <laughs> if we talk, well, obviously I'm I am Jenko. Um, okay. Listening to you, Enzo. Um, do you know? Like the main question is, um, what is he like as a player? Can Can you repeat this? Yeah, sorry. Um, what's Enzo like as a player? Um, Enzo is a young player and a really uh, smart player uh, with uh, with a lot of uh, quality of uh, passing and uh, skills uh, uh, with the ball and without the ball. You you hear, uh, hear me? It's good. Yeah. Okay. And um, and yes, uh, he's a, a player like uh, uh, like uh, like uh, you know uh, nowadays in Lyon, uh, Maxence Cacré. A uh, player like like that is uh, is really smart and um, really uh, elegant to to see uh, with the ball. So, say so say what what are, what are his strengths and weaknesses then? Uh, strengths, I think, uh, passing and um, uh, vision. Vision, you get good vision and um, really good stamina also. Um, is um, uh, in always in uh, the anticipation. The anticipation and um, and I think uh, um, he, he got a lot of uh, strength. Uh, uh, like uh, I don't know how to say uh, <laughs> um, in um, weakness. I think uh, he is not a um, strengthful power player. Not uh, not really strength and uh, and um, in uh, defense. Uh, in defense, he. In the impact, in the impact, and in the the how do you duel duel in the fight <laughs> in the fight is um, he does the job, but uh, he's really young and not uh, not not like Adama in Wolverhampton, not now, <laughs> and uh, he has to progress uh, in this in this way, improve in this way. <laughs> Um, so, how far do you reckon you can go? Do you reckon you could be in the French national team? Uh, can, can you repeat, please? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, do you reckon how far do you reckon he will go? Do you think he would be able to be in the then like the French national national team? Um, maybe in few few years, yes. Uh, now he play uh, in the under twenty French national team and. Uh, It's good. You you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so he's um, he played a lot of game in the under twenty, no, under nineteen, and played the World Cup with the under nineteen on really good, uh, really good game with um, 
players like uh, Cuisance uh, who plays in the Bayern Munich now. And um, that was his, his good level, his good level. But um, in Dijon, um, like uh, one one year from uh, one year, he, he don't uh, get a lot of uh, time to play um, uh, since one year. Since one year, he, he play uh, like uh, 10 games and, and now his level is not at his best. But uh, I think uh, first, he will play with the under 20s, uh, 23 uh, with Wolverhampton, and and get uh, confidence, more confidence, and um, and in the future maybe he is a player who who will be a part of the French national team. Maybe I I, I hope because uh, he's from Dijon, from our academy, and uh, he's um, the best uh, crack uh, who who get uh, in the academy, and I hope he. He, he will do the job in Wolverhampton to go to to go up uh, up and up. So, uh, do you watch much of uh, Premier League football? Yes, yes, I watch uh, Wolverhampton. I uh, really like uh, Adama, and then I play uh, with Adama in a uh, FIFA Ultimate Team. You know, <laughs> you think he, uh, he could uh, adapt to maybe being like Ruben Neves or Martinho, that kind of player? Yes, he is, uh, this is uh, the same style. And um, I think if Moutinho and Ruben Neves uh, um, succeed in the Premier League, I think Loyodis can succeed also. Uh, because he's, like as I said, he's really smart. Really, really smart. And and uh, and uh, he got um, uh, technical abilities like Moutinho and, uh, and Neves. And I say he's not uh, really strengthful, not um, not in the in the fight, the fight, but always in the anticipation. And I think uh, uh, the fight in Premier League is not um, is not uh, too hard for him. Okay. And my last question for you is: current players or past French players, who do you reckon he's got, he he he's like, or how like, what do you think he's going to be like? For example, your Zidane's, your Kante's, your Pogba's. Do you reckon he's going to be like that? I think, uh, I hope for him. But uh, now, like I said, he, he has to to play and got more confidence. And maybe with the confidence, we will see his best level. Because in Dijon, he played at uh, uh, 17 years old in Ligue 1. And at 17 years old, he was a really beast uh, in League One. He, he played uh, some games in the end of the season of uh, 20, um, 20, uh, 17, 20, 18, uh, 18, and he was a really beast. And after he he lost a little bit confidence. Uh, he lost his confidence, and and his level was not um, at his best. And no, I don't. Uh, I don't really know if he can be the beast uh, we uh, he was in the past. But if he can, with uh, the confidence, with the uh, the play uh, in the under twenty twenty three with Wolverhampton, I think he could be uh, a star in Premier League in few few years. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. Anyway, uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, um, I, I do my best <laughs> to, to talk uh, to you, but uh, it was a pleasure too. Uh, thank you for that. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. As you just heard in the interview, um, looks like Enzo Lodice seems to be a cracking under 20s. Uh, well, he's only about 19, isn't he? Um, Thomas made some good points there. It does seem like he needs the game time to boost his confidence. Um, Thomas just does think that he's going to be a cracking signing. Um, with Enzo, it's going to be Drek. He's going to get into the first team. Um, personally, I'm going to. See, I reckon what we're going to do, we're going to see if he smashes it into under twenty threes. Because at the moment, under twenty threes aren't doing very well, are they? So if he's the player that manages to help them turn the season round. Then maybe he'll be a new nice plans for next season, and we might sign him up. Um, it just 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 sounds like he just needs confidence, really. 
um, game time. I've just watched a few montages, like, not montages, um, a few clips of what he's like with the ball, off the ball. Um, he does seem quite a good, like, genuine player. Um, you compared him to Kaka. Kaka's a very, very, very good footballer. So, is he going to be the player to live up to Kaka's name? You don't know, do you? But uh, Thomas is the person who's seen him the most out of everyone anyway, because he supports the team that he came from. Um, so, yeah, coming from League 1 to the Premier League, it's going to be a big step. What can we say? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the interview. If you did, leave a like down below. I want your thoughts on Enzo in the comments. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Um, all our social medias will be in the description below. And yeah, uh, if you haven't watched my previous video with uh, Demetrius, that'll be in the description below. Um, that's going to be one of our top signings if Daniel decides to join. Which looks like it's going to happen. So leave that's, watch that video down below if you want all the uh, inside details. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like. Peace.